G'day mate, welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty, and of course, the wonderful Mr. Icarus. And today's episode, today's episode, we're obviously starting on the Lava Planet. We're starting on the Lava Planet because I wish to, well, we, we, we came here last episode and we set up titanium. A little bit of titanium. Also, I set up a little bit of silicon and also tapped some copper and some more titanium and a little bit of iron and also put down a geothermal power plant or three. In fact, we're up to a cool 95 megawatts. 95 megawatts, can't really complain. But um, there's, there's, there's a few more things I want to do on this planet before I leave. Um, number one, being that this is our only source of silicon, I figure, one, we should process it here, so obviously, as you can see, I'm smelting it. I also have a second dump box for when the robots go off and pick up all the stone off the ground. I have somewhere to put all that stone, which obviously we're turning into silicon because we have plenty of stone at home. Um, but the main thing we turn silicon into is actually microcrystalline components. And microcrystalline components get turned mostly into processes. So I'd like to do that on this planet, but being that we have literally 468,000 silicon on the planet, on, on, in, in our little solar system, that's it. I want to make sure I proliferate it. So that's going to be the very first thing we're going to do. We're going to set up a tiny little proliferator build because there is 435,000 uh, coal on the planet, which is actually more than enough to pr proliferate uh, every single step along the way of our production chain. So what I want to do is I want to set up a little coal build like so, uh, and we want to set up all our peripher pro proliferation uh, right about here somewhere. Uh, now, I've got no idea what this looks like. But I can tell you, I've been studying, I've been studying, and I've been working, and I've gone and opened Excel, I know, Excel, and I've done some maths, and uh, actually first off I want a sprayer, because we need to st spray this every single step of the way, we're going to go with three of them, yeah, three of them should be heaps, okay, so, uh, I've done some maths, Okay, and, and, and this came as a bit of a shock to me, actually, we're going to go with two of them. Yeah, because you can only support two on an unsprayed belt doing six uh, six per second. But we've learnt something. Uh, yes, okay, so uh, if I'm not spraying, and we're, we're going to get, so this is going to be our Mark 1, uh, Mark 1, the other one, and you're also going to be Mark 1, but eventually we want Mark 3. Okay, now surprisingly, I need six coal per second to get two mark two, two assemblers doing mark two and producing 1.5 of the mark two per second. But if I spray it every single step along the way and I still get two per, uh, well, 1.5 per second being two assemblers uh, running. I don't need six coal anymore. I only need four and a half coal. So we actually, by, by spraying it through each step, we actually save on a number of machines, which I was a little bit shocked about, to be honest. I didn't think that would happen for the Mark I version, at least. Uh, well, I didn't think that would happen for coal um, at all, ever. Like, I, I didn't think this would be a saving. I was doing it for the fun of it. Uh, because it's something new and interesting to play with. But now I know that I'm actually making a saving when I do all this spraying for making Mark 1 to Mark 2. Well, that's a whole different story. Alright, so we're going to need two and a half... Well, we're going to need just over two smelters doing uh, coal into energy graphite. And then from there... We're going to need just over two machines again, uh, making our diamonds to go into our Mark II. So we're going to change that recipe to diamond. We're going to copy, copy, copy. Uh, we're going to put another sprayer on the belt. Can I actually move back a tile? All right, so we're going to have two sprayers. Uh, from there, we're going to have our Mark I juice come out and go back in. You might actually have to move up a time. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna have an assembler here. Two of. Which you're gonna bring in. You're gonna be making Mark Two Goop, which we're gonna bring out. Uh, can I change both you and rotate them the other way? Okay, all right. So uh, you're gonna come out and up into the first one, into the second one, into the third one. Forward one tile, across, and into those ones as well. Uh, okay, so we're going to need a sort of in for coal, and then out for a uh, proliferant mark one. Then that's going to come this way through this sprayer, and then go into these two machines, along with two diamonds, well, a diamond each. And then get dumped onto this belt and then from there it's going to come up it's going to go through this sprayer this sprayer this sprayer this sprayer and spray every single step of this system before i do anything put some in there some in there some in there some in there and some in there and the rest of it i will just put on the belt this is stuff that I had in my pocket that's literally taking up space, so we're going to ship this on the belt and have it do something at least, rather than seeing my pocket. I'm going to need two power poles. Uh, that's not bad! A lot powered off two power poles. Alright, so before I do anything else, uh, this is definitely a blueprint I want to share. So this is going to bring in coal which is going to turn into energy graphite, graphene, whatever, which is going to turn into diamond, which is going to go, diamond goes to there. You become Mark II Accelerant, which we're going to copy and paste on that belt, and that belt, that belt, and that belt, and that belt. You are going to be Mark 1, which we're going to copy and paste there. And the coal marker will paste there as well. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a blueprint I'm going to be sharing. Uh, we're going to go from there to there. We're going to call this uh, Early Game Self uh, Proliferating proliferators uh, and I'll put a symbol of mark 2 on there and that's going to be our very very first blueprint we're going to be making this episode um now if if you missed it if you've missed it first off first off this series this series a little bit different than any other series that you may have seen out there on the interwebs i am really really pushing blueprints okay um, I made some blueprints last time I played Dyson Sphere, but they were for really, really late game. Uh, this time around, I really want a lot of early game blueprints. So that's exactly what we're doing. I'm making early game blueprints, and I am sharing them publicly with, well, anybody who wants them. They're available on my Discord server. So if you like blueprints, can you do me a favor? Can you click the like button? Uh, if you want to grab the blueprint, then by all means, uh, use the link down in the description, head over to my Discord server. They are available there if you want to have a copy. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to sort of work out where this sky belt is going to go, because we're definitely going to be using a sky belt, because I have to go halfway across the map uh, to, I don't know, about there somewhere. Okay. And just drop that belt into place, and we're going to check that this works very quickly. So, we're making the graphene, which is definitely getting sprayed, then getting turned to diamonds. Uh, we're getting the extra 20% productivity on there. We're making diamonds, which are getting sprayed before they come out uh, into these two machines. You guys are getting your proof-related items in. Yep, that is a perfectly working system. Now, it will need some time to spray itself okay um i actually don't know how much spray it uses per second 
Uh, we're making... So each spray... Uh, can I lay my hands on a spray? No. Uh, each spray is good for 28... 20, each spray I can use 28 times. Okay? So we're using... Uh, we're making one and a half per second, so 28. Uh, whilst we're at it, let's just have Icarus walk that way. Uh, 28 times 1.5, so we're getting 42 sprays per second. And we're using uh, 4.6 minus 1.25 for the energy graphite, minus 1.5 for the diamonds, minus 3 for the yellow ones. Uh, what's that? Uh, 4.6 plus 1.25 plus 1.5 plus 3. We're using about 10 of the 42 we're making. So we're still making about 32 spray per second, which, honestly, I can't argue with. Uh... I need to bring that across. We're actually aiming for silicon. Oh, max belt, max belt. So we have around about 32 sprays per second. Which is hopefully enough to keep up with what we're planning on doing. We, as we can see, the belt already has a decent amount of material on it. So I think it's going to be enough. Uh, we are going to be spraying... Uh, not all the components of silicon, but a, a few of them. A few of them. And if it's not, we can always go and find a different coal patch and basically build the exact same blueprint. Um, because there are three coal patches on the world. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to actually start spraying the silicon ore. Because it's a finite resource, because there is a certain amount on the world and no more, that's going to be the very first thing I'm doing. Uh, so even though the belt's going to look a little bit funny, suddenly change the directions, I don't really mind. Uh, once we're finished on this lava planet, probably never. Well, we, we're going to come back a couple of times to pick up resources. But we're not building anything permanent on the lava planet. At least not yet. Not that I can think of. Okay. So first things first is I'm going to need more than a belt's worth of uh, silicon. I'm going to need potentially two. So, I didn't bring any faster belts on me. No. Okay. So, we are going to have to come back, great, uh, with some faster belts. But it also means I want to upgrade this smelter rate. So, we want to go from uh, 6, originally, up to 12 smelters total. And then I just need to come back and double the speed of all the belts up to T2, because I forgot to bring those with me. Uh, okay, so that's going to be the first thing I want to do. I want to make sure that silicon silicon uh, is produced at twice the speed. Alright, next thing we want to do is uh, we want to make processes. Okay, so they, as we can see, need the micro, they need circuit boards and microcrystal components. We're going to do the circuit boards first because they just need iron and copper and honestly, I don't need to pro proliferate them. So we're going to build out to here to here and I need four assemblers. One, two, three, four. Nice and simple. Uh, I'm going to put the circuit boards on that side of the belt and the iron belt comes from over here. And we're going to come out a few tiles. And I'm potentially going to go one tile high. And... We're not proliferating this. So I can actually go all the way out to there. Then down to ground level. And straighten up my belt and go to there. Uh, you, sir, are going to make circuit boards. We're going to put a sorter in... Uh, sort it in, sort it out. We're going to drag that across to there. Now we can see how close this is, that there is no hope of me actually getting uh, 
and power port in between the assemblers, but that's perfectly fine. So that will do our circuit boards when I finish building the iron door. Next thing we're going to need is we're going to have to make those micro crystalline components. Uh, so I want to come to there, to there. Uh, yeah, we want a very long straight belt. Nothing fancy, just long and straight. Alright, production. I'm going to want sprayers. I'm going to want uh, two, probably, definitely. And to run both of them, I'm going to need to bring my proliferation spray out of that machine and over to there, down the ground level. there and then straight in. Sure. Okay. So we want to make uh, micro crystalline components, which I actually need 14 machines for. So if I drag this all the way out and then back one, that is exactly 14 machines. That goes to there, that goes to there. And then your return belt is actually going to be right front. Uh, actually, I'm going to drag this out another assembler's worth. Uh, another, another assembler on the end, and that way I can remove, remove the first assembler. Just give myself a little bit more wiggle room in case I need it. So we're going to be doing uh, in, out, out, simple as that. You're going to be doing that recipe, and we're going to drag and drop that. 15 would be a maximum drag. We're one short of max drag, so that means we have 11, uh, 14 of them. Come on, bots. Two belts. Done. Alright. And the main reason I moved everything further forward is I have to move these sprays. Uh, production. There. And And power, because Icarus's batteries be flat. I am burning material. Yeah, it is being burnt. We're just still not producing power nearly faster. Okay, so uh, next step is going to be the processes. Uh, so we're going to spray that one. I'm going to bring in a belt here. Do circuit boards, because that is one of the two components that go into processes. Uh, which means the circuit board build that I just did, I need to worm the belt from there to there. So we're going to have to come up a tile to here. Uh, back one more tile. Down a tile. Up a tile. Down a tile. Sure. All right. So, uh, processor assemblies. I need 15, 14, 13, 15, 14, 13, 12. 12 is the magic number we're looking for. Uh, we're going to give you an output. Do you have to come this way? No, but we'll bring it this way anyway. Uh, and then we'll put in a little belt like this. Uh, production. Oop, wrong one. Storage, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, come on, I need the build, building built so I can put on the sorters. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go all out for this one. Alright, so you're actually going to be doing processes. Processes shall require a in and an in and an out. And that gets dragged to there. We're happy. We're very happy. Uh, okay, so that looks like that is the production line up and running. So what are we waiting on? We're waiting on uh, three or four belts at this end. Uh, Icarus to have a recharge. I'm 
waiting for four belts over at that sprayer. And then we should be good. I'm gonna get that sprayer up, or uh, well, these two sprayers up and running. Uh, we're also gonna want power poles. Put them in and below. I can. I fit them in both. Excellent. Okay. Power, 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 power. Okay, that should be everything we need. No, half those sorters are back. Uh, remove sorters. Uh, actually, we're going to try this tool. This tool should let me select all of that. Um, not much happened. Okay, did the second time around. All right, uh, I want you to be in in out cool all right drag that along that's all our belts we just need to see the processes fire up oh and i also need to drag my goop belt into that machine processor i've made a processor excellent uh it has excellent data processing capabilities. It is an invaluable part of base production, uh, base production information, and gives us the confidence to continue in our path. We didn't have confidence. I had confidence. I had confidence. Uh, try. Okay. So, you guys are running. You are being proliferated. We should be doing um, about three point six per second roughly uh help it do any even better if i bother to power this guy up uh, i'm not capping the box we're just gonna let it run freely and the next up is probably get as much titanium as i can carry and then get the hell out of dodge uh which is i don't build it Well, we got a titanium to our right. We'll grab that. Yeah, that's that's the one I'm looking for. That has a lot of titanium. Okay. I'm gonna grab the whole lot. Now I could hold down control and right click on a stack. And I could empty out all the titanium in the world. I can carry as much as I want on my hand. But it does mean that there's a chance I might drop it. And if I drop it, somebody's going to have a bad day. So we're going to just carry what we can normally carry. Uh, I am going to dump titanium right in there. So I can grab another titanium. I think that's it. I think that's it. We need to fly home. And we need to start working on uh, incredible amounts of titanium uh, processing. Yes. Okay, well, I'm actually really surprised there isn't an achievement for that. Um, because we are super duper 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 underwater. Um, last night, Planet Explorer, blah 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 blah. Uh, sulfuric acid, mana tubes, okay, crystal by using the original formula. We've done that. I we need to handcraft it. Uh, tell with me who approved this. Uh, yeah, I, I did it. Fill 10 flank, uh, fluid tanks in the game. Oh, okay, that's not hard. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't know why there is an achievement for, like, sinking nose first underwater. Alright, whatever. It, it actually seemed like a decent achievement to, to try and get. 
Um, and I thought there was one. Obviously, I was wrong. Okay, so we're back on the homeworld. Now, the homeworld has had, like, a couple of minor tweaks. Uh, one, we might notice that I've already brought back some titanium. But I put it here in a box and started making hyd uh, hydrogen fuel rods. Because I was absolutely sick of burning off these things. They work, but they're not great. Um, so we're going to burn off the last couple of those, and then we're going to go purely to hydrogen, because now we can get titanium. The other thing that we need to do is we still need to automate these pink containers here. I just need to bring titanium into this building, which we're just going to throw... 800 was a bit much, but that's okay. I'll process it. Process it. Yeah. Not 40. Well, I didn't bring 40 with me. Uh, but we do need to start hooking up more things to the to, to, to here to start getting more things automated, but we're going to worry about that a little bit later. Right now, I do need to automate the particle containers, okay? Which require the green engines, plus they require copper, plus they require some of that graphite that we've made previously. Uh, the rest of the titanium... We're just going to drop into a box right here where we were dumping our titanium ore uh, because, well, each trip I had to come home to bring get more materials, I brought some titanium with me. All right, so uh, we want to make the pink particle containers. Now, pink particle containers are going to require copper and they're also going to require the graphene. Graphene. Graphene, yes. So we have the green motors here. Copper. Uh, about that. Uh, no, we have this little vein here. And we have graphene there. So we need to get all the materials over here and build a little, a little, little thingy over here. Okay, so what I want to do then is grab out these motors. Uh... We're going to bring out at least the tile. We're going to go full sky belt. Uh, press R twice so we get a flexible belt. And we're going to aim for that little island just above oil. Uh, it's also conveniently just above our workshop where we have all the materials. So we should... Uh, should be able to get this built fairly easily. Now, I do not need a massive build. Okay? A couple of assemblers is probably overkill. Uh, one, two, three. Yep, three, three is what I've decided. Uh, we want you guys to make those things. They take four seconds. Nope, we're going to have four of them there. Uh, okay. Uh, copy, paste, paste. I'm going to need copper plate. Plus, we're going to need an output. Uh, and graphene is over here. So we're going to off the end of the belt. Uh, raise this up. Uh, down, down, up. Will you dodge it at wind turbine? I'm going to go with no. Okay, up one more belt. Okay, you'll now dodge a wind turbine. Alright, so we want to go to here. And then essentially. Uh, there. Alright, so that's going to be our plan. We're going to go. Resource in, resource in, resource in, resource out. Alright, so that's going to be our plan. Uh, I'm going to drag that along. I obviously need to go get the building half done. And at the same time, I need to set up a smelter right here. So I'm going to go do both those things. And I'll see you guys in a sec. Uh, after we remember to turn our light back on. Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so supposedly there's an achievement for crafting some of them. So, uh, we managed to get this almost hooked up. Uh, one last belt. And we should now start making particle containers. On top of that, I almost forgot to proliferate them. 
Almost, almost. But they've now been proliferated the same as everything else. Uh, these guys, we're going to instantly take them and I'm actually going to shove them straight into the mall. Um, we wanted these automated to start making... Uh, let's go to that tile, then down the ground level, into there. In here. We wanted these automated so we could start making uh, the planetary logistics station, but but we also need processors, which of course I left on. Uh, we also are not quite at the structural matrix yet. We can definitely make diamonds. Uh, we can make titanium crystals, although I haven't actually got around to doing anything about it just yet on the count of, well, I haven't done it. That's really my only excuse. So it does mean uh, next episode, I am pretty sure that you have to handcraft them uh, by, by hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember saying by hand. By hand. Okay, all right. Fine, fine. Jetty can't read. Surprise, surprise. But we've got another 27 organic crystals, which is great. Uh, we can throw our leaves and our wood in there. I can take the water and promptly delete it off the face of the globe. Uh, yeah, next episode definitely is when we're going to be looking at, I think, just doing the structural matrix outright. Because we now have titanium. We've brought it home. We've proliferated the circuit boards on our um, lava world. So we've got that done as well. So all we have to do is make diamonds, which we've made multiple times, to run the prolif proliferator mark two. And at the same time, we just need to mix some of the organic crystals that we have. What's that? 900, almost a thousand of and it's one organic crystal per titanium crystal which will then give us one structural matrix so we can make almost a thousand yellow science and we need 80 and 120 so i think i need to just next episode just we're just going to knock that out knock that out using our very early production we're going to have to automate them later which is going to require us going and revisiting oil again but i wanted to make sure that we you know we had all the prerequisites to make the first tower uh, before we start making the second tower. So now that the particle containers are done, we need processors and then, of course, titanium. Titanium we've got for flying back. As soon as we get to the next level tower, we can then automate that. Uh, oh, they also go into, yeah, the second le le level tower. So, one item, one item, two researchers. Two researchers, one item away. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to shoot for yellow science and also automate our transport because I want to get them both done sort of at the same time. Anyway, that's it. We're calling it here. Uh, blueprint for the proliferator will be on Discord as always. And if you're new here, you caught this episode, first episode out of the blue, uh, there is the playlist in the description below. On top of that, the main point of this playlist, well, the main point of this series is to proliferate everything I can. Notice the green prolifer proliferator belts going everywhere. Uh, and also, I want to build a mega base. So we need to get we need to get off world in a big way and get warpers and a whole lot of other things first. But eventually, we're going to be going super, super, super mega base. Anyway, that's what I'm going to call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.